This time he's gone. This time he's gone. Andre Nell gets his man. It's ball on bat this time, not bat on pitch. Pakistan lose their first wicket. Mohamed Afi is not looking comfortable once again. And he'd be disappointed because Andre Nell was spraying the ball around. He wasn't consistently bowling in the channel as Sean Pollock was. And an opportunity lost because it was wide. The ball was there to be hit, but he was so much away from the line of the ball that it must have been very difficult to connect. And in the end, a faint edge dismantling him. Good breakthrough, early breakthrough. That is what South Africans wanted. Gone for one, 11 for one. Azul Iqbal, number three. Early inexperienced, just average. He's nicked that one, and it's gone. That is out. Safe catch taken by Andrew Hall. A first slip. He's developed into a very good slip of Hall, but Andre Nell has been terrific today. That is an important breakthrough again. But by Andre Nell. There it is there. Oh, it did move away. Outside edge. And look at the carry. And well washed on one knee. A la Bob Simpson. And Hall does the business there. And a good start to the South Africans. They're here for business. Iqbal's gone for a duck, and now Pakistan 16 for two. Skipper at the moment uh, is uh, walking out in the middle. You see for Heiner. Good shot. He's hit that well. He's picked him up. Andrew Hall is just bunted him away for four. That's well played. See, it's a lovely shot. Really is a terrific shot. Andrew Hall wouldn't have been too impressed by that. A good shot. It's just exactly what Pakistan needed so late in the over. And the crowd picked the ball from way outside the off stump. A lot of wrist work, but the best thing about that stroke was. That's out. Caught behind. Brilliant catch by Boucher. We discussed that he'd just come up. And uh, it's never easy taking an edge. If... Enticing the batsman into playing the stroke away from the body and drawing a bat stroke. Second time in this series, Yasser Amid has caught himself in a similar fashion. And that's a big blow for the Pakistanis and huge wicket for the South Africans. The man who was playing so well for his 30 is walking back and Pakistan in trouble. 59 for 3 there. Eunice Khan, 3 and over. Peterson into his second over and to take you through the next one. Run rate uh, at three, as Robin said, as uh, it always should be, so that's going to happen. Good shot. That is a lovely shot. It's a flat six. What great contact. Yeah, it's, it's a schema. And it has been. Peterson would have been jolted by this blow. Out scream of no by Yusuf Johanna. Now just to uh, address a final email, just for the time being, Ramirez, which is also uh, coming again. This one's from Mojave in uh, Johannesburg. And he wants to know. Yeah, there's a nice little shot of Mark Darcher from our stump cam, which has uh, been turned around today. Good shot. Glorious shot. That is a beauty. That has got miles. Outstanding stuff. Looking at one miles. Yeah, Robbie. It's gone over the railing, and, uh, but, uh, and this time Johanna picks up a run. Another wonderful innings. Now that's his 33rd 50 in his 148th one international, and his seventh score of 50 more in his last eight knocks. Outstanding. That'll be four. No, it's not. That is one of the greatest catches. I just thought he had enough bat on it to get past Boucher. And that would be one of the greatest catches this guy's ever taken in his one-day international career. Had a little time to anticipate that one and how well he has moved. Great reflexes, great movement, and an excellent catch. And that was the reason why Andre Nell was brought back into the attack. Wasn't a great delivery to pick up a wicket, but because of tremendous effort from Mark Boucher, here's the wicket for the South Africans, the much needed, and look at the jubilation. And the Pakistani team, they are struggling at 105 for four. Naveed Latif, 
Chance and gone. Brilliant effort. Now the South Africans have got their teeth into this match. He bounced him, and Nell's picked up his fourth wicket. That was good thinking from uh, Andre Nell, who has bowled so well throughout this game. He bowled very well with the new ball, moved it around, picked up two wickets, and now in, into his second spell, already made the difference. Tested Yusuf Johanna, who was looking to get forward with a short pitch delivery, and all Yusuf Johanna did was middle the ball, but straight to the fieldsman. And that is a huge wicket. And the Pakistani team definitely in dire straits. Yusuf Johanna is walking back, scoring uh, yet again another 50 in his career, and the Pakistani team 1 1 4 for 5. And got him. He's got his first wicket today. Exactly what he wanted. And they're in big trouble here at the Pindi Stadium. Inside edge onto the middle stump. And that was the thing the Pakistani team ill afforded at this point of the game. They required a partnership. And Sean Pollock was brought back into the attack to just do this thing. And Naveed Latif, without moving his feet, tried to play that stroke square area on the offside went through that stroke very early and managing an inside edge and the south africans they are in the driving seat in the fourth one day international pakistan struggling at 120 for six the experienced rashid latif ashwab malik chopped it on another one's gone the tini's back in the attack and he's picked up a wicket quick smart they're in deep, deep trouble now, Pakistan. 122 for seven. Loose shot. This was uh, dragged on. Slow track. You need to be playing with a straight bat. Makaya and Tini has come in and dismissed Shweb Malik. Dangerous Shweb Malik. And South Africa on the roll here. Gone for five. 122 for seven. He's going up this time. That's another one. So, McCain Tenney has picked up his second wicket in the over. Mark Boucher's full of smiles, and why not? South Africa have been outstanding today. Well, he softened him up with uh, a nasty bouncer, and Shreb after had nothing to offer. Well, the Springbok obviously uh, feeling that they've got this game under check in their pocket. Just hanging his back to delivery that was pitched on that off stump. Neat catch by Mark Boucher. He had had a wonderful time behind stumps. And Makai Antini, well, he can laugh because Shweb Akhtar is, is walking back after playing well, rather loosely outside his off stump. Gone for not 122 for eight. That's a lovely cracking shot. Ball coming crisp of the stick. It's exactly what Rashid Latif was looking for. So. so six off this over so far. It's a long chase. And wonderful fielding. Dark Rudolph, the man down there. Brings up the 150. That's a magnificent throw in. Look at that. He realised he's going to touch. Had the presence of mind to get the ball back in play. And that was a great throw there. And as well, he had the presence of mind to get. Well then. Ninth wicket falls. Desperation from Pakistan. I think that was the case, uh, Jonesy, that he knows perfectly well. But uh, missed a straight one. Yeah, Rashid Latif likes to go inside out and got done with a slow one. Very well bowled indeed by Jacques Callas. And there goes the timber. And they're in all sorts of trouble now. Rashid Latif's out for 18. Pakistan 150 for 9. 153 now for 9. That last run took uh, Pakistan part. That's out. That's the end of the innings. Well, a very, very clinical. They said they were going to get more clinical in the press this morning. Performance from the South Africans. So a disappointment there for Pakistan. All out for 157. At one stage, they lost five for 17 in six overs. And only none for two. So a good performance. And also Makai and Tini chiming in with three wickets. Now, South Africa, their target is 
158 off 50 overs, and they've got to go only at 3.2 runs to the over. OK, so we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the action at the start of the second innings. This could be ours. Yeah! Oh, yes! Oh, it's nearly gone under the stumps. Huge. Huge. Anything. Played everything from the bottom of the bat. And that's a better stroke. And it has disappeared towards the boundary line. And no ball too. Five runs they'll be added into the total. And that'll hurt off the back foot, especially square area. You require to use your bottom hand. And it wasn't there. Top hand and... That's sold. It. Well, a funny type of pull shot, but it's gone straight. We'll call it the straight pull shot. It's gone for four. Oh, Lovely goodness. shot. Class. He is so strong down the ground, this fella. Big bat. That's very similar to Matthew Hayden, who today scored the highest test score ever, the world record. He was able to control the stroke. There was no deviation of the seam. Presenting the full face of the bat. Getting the ball right out of the middle of the bat. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Magnificent boundary. It's the end of the over. 27 for zero. Bowled him out. He's dragged it on. He's dragged it on. First wicket for the nine fall. Graham Smith terribly unlucky and once again attempting a horizontal shot. Now, we have seen batsmen to suffer playing across the line or square through the offside. And Mohamed Sami realized uh, a second later that uh, Graham Smith had played that one on. Gone for 13, 31 for one. That's a lovely shot. And that's a cracking drive off the back foot. Herschel Gibbs is a touch player. Full flourish of the bat. And finds a way between the fielders. Here and the goal for a few overs. Four more. This in the air, but very safely. Over backward point by several feet. A little bit of whiff in Herschel Gibbs cashed in on it big time. You have to be precise and can't be standing in the 47 overs they were at the crease. It'll be four. It'll be four. Whether it's timing from the Otos, it's debatable. Whether it should have been fielded or not is debatable. But what a beautiful stroke. And then slipped in the process as well. Not really that uh, wouldn't have gone too well with the Otos. Tapped away. Four. Beautifully done, four. Beautifully done. It's no ball as well. Beautifully done. Brings up to side of the focus for Steve. They move to the things that are easy. That's a good thing. Steve, they move to 53. That'll be four. That'll be four. It plays with quite a heavy bat. When he gets it, it plays with quite a heavy bat. When he gets it, it lined up. If it's you need to be good at that position, you need to be extremely good at that location. And the moment this piece has been uh, deadly good, keeping the legacy of the frustration, keeping in the ground, that the ball of his bowling card, all of his length, accordingly, all of his bowling according to Once again, a little punch through the oxide as again in the runs, punch through the oxide as again in the runs. But, uh, Mohamed Sami once again over. Mohamed Sami once again over. Such a classy player. Uh, Always a trick to watch. Driven the ball wide of extra cover as well as pass backward point. But one between points and extra cover. Them or not? So far it hasn't. Oh, dropped. Setter dropped. Yunus Khan had plenty of time to sight that one. And, uh, well, Shabir Ahmed has been. Him a little bit. Slower ball, bounces. That's what's uh, got Callis into trouble. But, uh, oh dear, you've got to catch those. And just in the last over, Gibbs chipped it over mid-off. And uh, 
just go for four as punishment. Oh, this game is so cruel. It really is so cruel. 73 for one. Like that. And he's got... He's been picked up by Shwebachta. And that was the requirement of the Pakistani captain from Shwebachta. Now, this is very good ball. A couple of uh, slowish balls, I suppose, from Shwebachta. That was just 131 k's per hour. The first one, 107. So it was very slow, the first one. And Herschel gives basically through the shot and chopped it onto the stump. So Shah Bakhtar has uh, picked up a wicket, and that's 150 wickets in one inch national cricket for Shah Bakhtar. Herschel gives on his way for a well played 41. South Africa now 73 for two. End up being around about uh, the 78, 79, maybe 80 mark, I reckon. And if there's one thing that can undo him, as I suppose it can anyone in world cricket, is Shah Bakhtar steaming in and bowling quickly. Quick. That was sharp. Looked like he tried to go underneath that, uh, so I was didn't pick it up all that well. There was evasive action, so it'll be uh, a leg by. Shive's not impressed. No footwork shown by Rashid Latif on that occasion. Their third best at 78 for two. At uh, well placed, just chasing that 158 to win, and of course then it's going to be two all if they get up and win, and we're going to have a huge game here in two days' time. Another day night at the Pindi Stadium. Akhtar, slower ball. I haven't seen him ball on a slot callus facing Shaw Bakhtar. Oh, it's a great shot. That is a lovely shot. Bit of reverse swing. Beautifully played square on the offside for four. We saw this happening at Faisalabad as well when uh, Shaw Bakhtar... Just have a look at Jacques Callas's foot here. That was quite interesting. Now, Jacques Callas in uh, one of those replays before Shaw Bakhtar was well short of uh, letting go with the hit for four. Let's have a look and see if he does it again. It's just trying to get himself going. Oh, that's a good shot. Gee, that is a great shot. Goodness me, it's a beauty. It's gone for six. Wow, that is good cricket. On him. Stunning to watch. Jack Callis when he gets going. There it goes, Shab. Flat for six. Another quality stroke from uh, Chuck Callas. Minimum effort, and the result is very good. Another boundary. He's so good there. Well, you will be always a good wristy player when you're not looking to hit the ball very hard. And that is where Chuck Callas is so good. Stays very loose. Lovely shot. That is a beauty. That is a really good shot. Great timing from Jacques Wirolf. Stop chasing it. That's gone. Well, that's the length most of the left-handers in the world they enjoy. Speed behind that one. At TajTV.com. Oh, that's a nice shot. That is a very good shot. That's running away from another boundary. That's well played. He's a talent, this boy. Watch him close over this couple of years. Field spent. But the ball was hit beautifully, and the timing was great. No chance for the fieldsman to stop that one. Although, it was an effort. Just talking about brilliant players in, in, in one-day cricket, Michael Pevens. That's a lovely shot. Caressed it beautifully through the offside. Jack Rudolph is looking good in this innings. The ball closely in the end. A little push. Just a mere push. Wickets fill uh, very regularly. That's another crashing shot. He's a good player, this fellow. Just extension of the arms in uh, meeting the ball on the bounce. On through there for me off the spinners. Haven't seen it since probably Alan Border and David Gow. A lot of the left-handers of today tend to hit the ball on the onside more or down the ground. Oh, wow, great delivery. I think he has had an edge. And uh, beautifully taken by Rashid Latif. He's so good behind the stumps. And Mohamed Afiz once again doing the trick. What a brilliant delivery. Really was an excellent delivery. He got Jacques Rudos trying to whip the ball on the leg side. Outside edge. People do not know how great a catch that what is. Beautiful hands. 
magnificent hands by Rashid Latif and Hafiz doing the job there, finding the outside edge. So they get another breakthrough. Can they get through it? Rudolph has gone for 20. South Africa 116 for three. 26 for three. more runs and with this stroke they'll be requiring 24 more to win this game been wanting to do that for a in the slot nobody back there obviously and it goes all the way kept the elbow very high all the time Shakalis nicely played using the length very nicely and that is his 45th 50 in international and to top that he scored 10 centuries as well that's a phenomenal run took him it was a runner ball in the earlier part. Great fast bowler and a been flat. That is quality stuff from Jack Callis. Has he caught that? Is it carried? No, it hasn't. Or has it? Yes, it has. Dipinar's on his way. It wasn't a great delivery, that one. Although, it just left the batsman a little bit. And he was early into the stroke, and then Mohamed Afiz finishing off the job in style. Had to dive in front, and picked up the ball inches off the ground. Fourth wicket for the Pakistani bowlers. And South Africa, 153 for four. Mark Boucher comes to the crease. Two. That's uh, going to be the winning runs all the way to the boundary. Boucher has finished it for South Africa. Gullis set it up. Along with a sparkling innings from Gibbs. And it's all to play for on Sunday. But at the end of the day, Amir... A disappointing performance from Pakistan. Very. So South Africa in the end doing it quite easily, ending up 158 for four. Jacques Callas played very well, not out 58 off 87 balls, but Herschel Gibbs set the trend right up front, 41 off 46, and that included seven boundaries as well. So Boucher finishing things, just one ball. So his strike rate will be improved with just that boundary off the one ball he did face. So a good performance by South Africa and Pakistan. Shah Bhakti gave them some life at one stage and bowled well again. Seven overs, two maidens, one for 23, and a wicket apiece to Mohammed Sami, who was a little bit on the expensive side, and also uh, Malik and also Mohammed Hafiz. Okay, so the match summary, South Africa winning this one, so it's a good victory for them. They lost the first two, remember.